Hey, welcome back to the Defiant Spirit. I'm Baruch Levy, also known as B, and we were in the midst of the Passover journey, not as Jews, but as Jews, Christians, Americans, human beings, as a, a conversation starter to talk about the message of Passover, which is the book of Exodus from the Hebrew Bible, which is the story, of course, of the Israelites making the journey from slavery to freedom. Now, here's um, an interesting idea that is applicable to your life, whatever you're facing or dealing with, and that is during the Seder, the, the ritual meal that we engage in, we come upon this passage of the four children. And there's four different children that we're reading about or talking about. One of them is called the, the wicked child, one of them is called the wise child, one of them is called the simple child, and one of them is called the um, one that doesn't even know how to ask. So my kids, I have four kids, and I ask them, okay, now divide up amongst yourself, which of you are which? Some, you know, one of them jumped on the wise child, one of them jumped on the simple child, one of them even jumped on the I don't know child, and then they threw the Enneagram 8, uh, my daughter, under the bus and said she's the wicked child. So the conversation, though, was well, why would you take on that label? Like, why would you reduce yourself, limit yourself? It was kind of an unfair trap that I set for them, entrapment. And they walked into it, and we all walk into it. Um, why would you do that? You know, then we expanded the conversation to, okay, who's an introvert and extrovert? Some said, I'm an introvert. Some said, I'm an extrovert. Some said, like me, I straddle the line. And then we had the same conversation. Says who? Right? Well, one of the kids or one of the um, people who were participating said, well, it's because it's my personality and it's part of who I am. It is part of who you are. But the journey from slavery to freedom is not to reduce ourselves to parts, but it's to see ourselves as a whole. And so nobody is extroverted or introverted. It's a continuum, right? And it depends on the situation and the circumstance, where you are in life, what you're dealing with in that moment. And also, oftentimes, we just take on these roles, these labels. I'm the good child. I'm the bad child. I'm the, um, you know, I'm the partier and I'm the studious one. And says who, right? And, and the moment we limit ourselves to that, we're no longer on the outside of that. I'm a partier, but I'm also a serious guy who likes to read books. We're not one thing. The journey from slavery to freedom is about liberating ourselves from the one thing. This is who I am. Fill in the blank. We do this all day, every day. I do this with guys as part of Man Uprising, the groups I run. Tell me what you do. Go around the circle. What do you think every one of them says? I'm a lawyer. I'm a doctor. I'm an engineer. I'm a garbage man. Whatever it is. I didn't say, what do you do for a living? They fill in that blank because that's how they have learned to identify themselves. I am how I provide or don't provide. And if I don't provide, I'm a, I'm a loser. And if I do provide, well, if I provide a lot, I'm a winner. And these, this is one aspect of who you are. I'm a, I'm a writer. I'm an author. I'm a poet. I'm a, you know, baseball card collector. I'm a dad. I'm a brother. I'm a son. I, these are all things I do. But as a man, we oftentimes limit ourselves. Well, women do this too, men do this too, children, adults. Human nature is to allow the world, our circumstances, to reduce us to the label. I am the color of my skin. I am the uh, sexual orientation. You're not these things. They're part and parcel of what you do, but they're not who you are. Passover is a journey of challenging our assumptions, our identity, going to the mirror and saying, who are you? You get a second chance, a, a, a get out of jail free card. This is about liberation. So in this moment, do you want to be extroverted? Do you want to be introverted? Do you want to fill in the blank? Then do that thing. Because the only reason you're not doing it is because you're incarcerated in a prison, or as Viktor Frankl says, an inner concentration camp. And at the end of the day, my friends, nobody puts you there. Not if you live in a free country and you're not being held hostage. Nobody puts you there. Nobody puts you in that except yourself. You allowed it to happen. I have people in these chairs behind me all day, every day saying, you know, my husband makes me mad or my boss doesn't respect me. Your husband or your wife can't make you mad. You can allow him to make you mad. You can allow yourself to be disrespected. But nobody gets to do that to you because you have what Dr. Viktor Frankl calls the defiant power of the human spirit. That spirit is that piece of you that gets to choose 
every response doesn't mean you can choose your external circumstances. Maybe you lose your money in the market tomorrow and you're actually broke. That doesn't mean you have money in the bank. No, it just means you don't have to be defined by that. And you can be the most response able, able to choose your response homeless person until you bootstrap it and then get into the shelter and then get into government housing and then work your way back up. Obviously an extreme, but you get the point. Passover is a reminder that nobody incarcerates ourselves but ourselves. We do it to ourselves. We allow it to happen. Usually slowly over time, attrition withering us away. However it happens though, it happens and it happens to all of us. Passover, we go to that table. We open ourselves up to the conversations. We go to the mirror. We challenge ourselves about who is the person staring back at us. Did I choose him or her? Did I just allow him or her to evolve or devolve into this version of me. Passover and the journey from slavery to freedom is about taking back your power from all of these labels and re remembering that you are not one of them. You are all of them and you are none of them. You are the defiant power of the human spirit. Anything else beyond that is just a you, tool you use to navigate the world. Just don't lose yourself um, with the tool. Don't lose yourself behind the mask. We need the mask, but we got to also take the mask off and remember who we are, what we are, and why we're here. And that's what liberation and the journey from slavery to freedom on Passover is all about. I will see you in the next video.